All right, so we got some pretty big news coming out this morning. A little bit more than I actually thought we were going to get. 2020 is going to mean year of the reconstruction, um, actually, which is uh, pretty cool. So first up, you have your four straight rare or starlight rares, as they're calling them here in the uh, actual game. They're not prismatic rares. They are being considered starlight rares. But anyway, you have Asa looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Lightning Storm, the Rosé, and the uh, beautiful... <laughs> How many waifus can you fit in a set, by the way? Um, I do want a Prismatic Rose. The problem is they just killed Sky Shrike, so that hope and dream is big dead dead now. But anyway, $500 minimum, right? People are guessing $750 on the Lightning Storms. Rose and whatnot being a little bit more pricey out here. Now... We have a whole giant thing to cover here. Um, now keep in mind that this is only for Europe only so far. Now keep in mind, the two will probably follow suit here, but uh, we will see about this. So this information is from Europe, and therefore we cannot confirm if this will apply anywhere else at this time. But I'm assuming that this will. So, to start things off, the new rarity, commonly called Prismatic Secret Rare, or Alternative Rare, has been given the official name Starlight Rare. And... It is actually awesome. Next, with Eternity Code Regular Rares, the cards with no foil artwork but a silver foil lettering on the names has been retired. Similar to Speed Duel Boosters, you will no longer receive these in booster packs. Congratulations, everybody. We have officially lost rares from the game. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's fine. I wish they'd bring back Ghost Rares since they killed rares, but okay. Okay, so... There are additional super and ultra, or additional super ultra and secret rares in the sets that will be distributed flat instead. So basically, we're taking care of the short print problem. The biggest thing that everybody has lost their mind about. They're like, they're so sick of European markets and American markets being so different on this. Europe is like, yep, we're going to distribute everything fair now, which means. American prints, if they're, if America's going to continue to short print this stuff, means it's going to be rough. So all cards will be evenly distributed, which means no short print or underprinted foils in main sets for the foils. Starlight Rares will be bumped from 4 to 5. It is not yet known how the distribution of alternatives to foils will go now that there is no rare to replace. And each pack will contain 8 commons and 1 foil card. Rares are gone are not gone indefinitely, but there are currently no plans to bring them back. Just the possibility to do so exists. So let's let's talk about this. So if you look at pull ratios for magical heroes out of Europe, you noticed a couple of things. One, the cards were a little bit more evenly distributed over there. It was almost like there wasn't that many short prints. Now with that being said, we're officially taking an approach at this game that everything is going to be fairly distributed. Now everybody can't complain that everybody is, you know, out to get everybody. That's what the secondary market is, all right? But seeing that this is a goodwill effort, I think, um, don't get me wrong on this, I, I do like this quite a lot, but we will have to wait and see... Um, what more will come in the future out of this? Um, so I'm I'm very curious to know what ratios will be now for the all, stupid Starlight Rares. I'm assuming that they're still going to be ridiculous, one per two cases, and everybody's going to just lose their mind for these things, but we'll have to wait and see really how that goes. Now, Ignition Assault is confirmed to be the last sneak peek. These events have been discontinued. From Eternity Code onward, there will be a pre-release event in which you get better promo cards, much more playable is the uh, physiology used. That's... Oh, thank you. I'm so happy for this. With a visit of the event, you will get the right to purchase one box of the set. The rest of the event will be open dueling. Congratulations. We've officially pulled a Magic the Gathering here. Um, well, okay, Magic does drafts and stuff for their events, but they're now saying, all right, you want a reason to go to Sneak Peek? 
you ha you get the right to get better promo cards for doing so. I honestly think that this is going to be a much better alternative to basically distribute promos a little bit easier. You know, in the past we've been giving out sneak peek cards from one card in the set. No, not anymore. And it looks like we're going to get the chance to get much better cards. So maybe those jump promos that we don't quite have yet that go with the themes in the set or, you know, better uses of promos overall. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the possibility of what they can do to improve on this as well, um, considering. Quite honestly, getting the ability to purchase a box ahead of time actually is pretty cool, but that means that stores going to have to go through distributors to get this now. So, that's fine. Special editions will be discontinued from Eternity Code. Um, Ignition Assault will be the final special edition product. A new product will replace it in the future. More information will come on this later. This one's pretty big, actually. Uh, special editions were really their best selling point for a limited product. Um, if you've noticed, Wave 1 goes through in the boxes, and first editions are distributed that way. And then when the special edition comes through, we get the second print run of the set, which is the unlimited printings, which is where we kind of start to see more of the success and things and get the second wave of circulation going for that. Now, with that being said, though, I'm assuming that we could go back to the $30 fat packs that we tried in the past. Um, you guys know what the Magic the Gathering fat pack is, where they basically put X amount of packs into a set, and then you get this relatively cool promo that comes with them. They were like $30. I'm hoping that they don't revisit this, because the average duelist can't afford to, to you know, keep dropping out $30 at a time. For products, I don't know. Maybe they can. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. Magic does it all the time. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they can. And then the biggest thing here. Rush duels will not be introduced to the TCG. For now, they remain exclusive to Japan. Rush duels are presently considered the OCG equivalent to speed duels. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that were looking forward to acquiring these cards, um, you're going to be able to pick them up OCG only right now. Um, which means it, it's going to have the exclusivity um, to only being over there. Now, obviously, uh, the border and things, I, I'm assuming that if they were to adjust that here, it's just going to be a giant sinkhole. At this point, we may as well just let Speed Duels do its thing. Everybody thought the Rush Duels were going to kill Speed Duels. Nah, just kidding. Speed Duels still 100% okay in that regard. So, I mean, hey, if you want to pick up Rush Duels on the OCG side of the game uh, and just play for fun, um, nothing's stopping you. You can very easily pick up a structure deck and do so. I think for product and design for the OCG side of the game, that's a perfectly good thing to keep there. Um, I honestly think that Rush Duels would fail in our market, but, you know, that's the thing. Like, both sides of the game, both markets, are very different from each other. You can very easily see here how we're still adjusting things. So, your TLDR here. All right. Alternative Rare is now Starlight Rare, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're no longer doing short prints, at least on the European side of the game, which is sweet, awesome. I, I like that. I like me some some fair distribution. Um, no sneak peek is interesting. I like the alternative method that they're going, especially for better promo cards. Oh, please, give us better promos. That is all that this community has wanted for the longest time. If you can, if you can still come up with a play mat for the event and just change the way that we're doing it, but still keep the mat and things like that, I'm sure that the player base will be absolutely happy with this. But I'll have to wait and see. Special editions being taken out of the game and being replaced with another product doesn't really phase anything. Like, I think that's fine. And Rush Duel not making it to the States. I'm pretty sure only one person really cares about Rush Duel at this point. Um, and I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss, honestly. But that's the news for today. Very, very interesting that this is the approach that we're taking. But 2020 is being an interesting year for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, I'm very much excited to see where these things are going to go. So, what do you guys think about all these changes? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And, well, I'm out, guys. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And, 
those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs, and those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.